Truckers are used to traffic, but now they're feeling the backup at fuel terminals in Colorado. So it kind of depends on the day. Um, you know, one day last week, they were five or six hours long. With Suncor down, this spot in Aurora is the next largest spot for distributors. They're having to wait hours to fuel up before making their way to gas stations, airports, really anywhere people need gas. It's a logistical challenge for trucking companies right now as we're trying to pull the same amount of fuel from fewer pull points than, than we traditionally do. Greer Bailey is with the Colorado Wyoming Petroleum Marketers Association. His trade group represents the distributors who are now relying on suppliers out of state. As those gallons come in through pipelines or rail terminals, truckers are, are again utilizing those supplies to um, kind of cover um, the lack of uh, production that Suncor is currently doing. It's taking longer for truckers to deliver fuel, but Bailey says there's no need to panic. He thanks Democratic Governor Jared Polis for that. On New Year's Eve, Governor Polis eased some rules, allowing truck drivers to work longer hours and carry heavier loads. They've uh, not only helped with our supply issue, but they've helped mitigate the pricing on Colorado families. Bailey says prices at the pump have gone up around 25 cents in the past few weeks. Suncor hopes truckers won't feel the backup past March. Now, Bailey hopes the increases on gas have plateaued following those rule changes by the governor. His trade group is supportive of Suncor, taking as much time as they need to work out those issues and operate in a safe manner. Yeah, a lot of scrutiny on Suncor from an environmental perspective. So you figure that regulators are going to be watching that carefully. Yeah, and taking as much time as they need. Again, publicly, they said that they hope to be back in normal operations at the end of March. Kelly Rinke, thank you.